the run through. I'm not exactly sure what we're doing at the moment. church barefoot is the most audacious, bold, crazy thing they would have ever done with their faith. On three. One, two, three. Barefoot! I like those inspiring words that LA shared with us this morning. Just play the right notes. That's right, yeah. That's what he told us. And play the right notes. Three. Play the right notes. Oh yeah, he said you need to sit in one service today. Yeah. Uh, and so he told the team, pick your poison. Mm, yes. He literally referred to our worship service as the poison. Interesting choice of words. Ready? Change up the Go. Get ready. John, you're off, bud. There you go. We will be questions about our streaming live setup. I want to introduce you guys to a volunteer here named Jody. Jody Hunt. Yeah. Yes. And Jody, do you do it every week back there? Almost? I don't do it every week, but... Because um, we don't schedule people every week. We, we, did, a vid we did a video about that too. <laughs> but you do, you're here a lot. Yes, I am. Yeah, and Jody is one of our main volunteers that, that handles the streaming production. Jody gets everything, Rivers Running Man in the Station gets everything from the board. You get yes. every channel. Yes. And you do a completely separate mix. That's correct. And that goes out to our campuses, it goes out to Facebook Live, YouTube Live. This is our live streaming mix. Yes, right? and our iCampus too. And the iCampus, yeah. Anything that's heard on the internet is completely separate from what is happening in the room. That's correct. And dude, I just got to tell you, I'm going to brag on you on camera. All right. You are killing it. Oh, thank you. It sounds awesome. It's like if you go to to just find New Hope Church either on all one word New Hope and Church on either Facebook or YouTube on Sunday mornings they'll post the live videos. They don't leave the links up, so you have to grab them while they're live. But you can hear Jody in action. And I pulled it up the other day and I shared a link on Facebook, and one of the comments was like, "So you guys are using like paid professionals to do this stuff, right?" <laughs> Receive that, Joey. <laughs> so, and, but you have a lot of experience doing production work uh, or on audio. a professional level. Yes, yeah. on the audio in general, eight years, uh, eight to nine years of doing audio. Mm -hmm. So Dave Bookout and I can do a more in-depth thing, but just really quick, uh, Jody, what are we using here as far as hardware and software? Um, we're using the E-Motion LV1. Um, Is that made by Waves? It's made by Waves. Yeah, and it's all this touchscreen business. So are these all Waves plugins that you're using? Yes. And you're getting a, get a you're getting a call. For the bat phone. I'll leave you alone. Go ahead. The emergency. Get ready to go to the video, so I gotta make sure the audio is high. You've come to fight a stream, man! 
I can't show any more. Tech tip with Dave. We need a better name. We got to we got to get a better name for that. We need no, better Dave. branding. Tech tip for the day. Mm -hmm. You know, many of us we EQ from song to song. We get our band dialed in. We make sure everything's sounding really good, not harsh. It's nice and smooth. But then, myself included, a lot of times I forget to check the videos that we're playing that day in church. And you know, contrary to popular belief, not all videos are ready for the room. And so. You're talking about specifically the audio from the video. The audio yes. from the video. Yes. Now the best thing to do is get with your video guys before something shows on the weekend and get a chance to actually mix it before the video Wait. gets printed. Dave, you're telling me audio and that video should, guys they can get along. That you should and they can talk. Like, actually do the stuff as in practice before it actually happens on Sunday. That would be nice. And I know that, right, there's a lot of volunteers out there and they may not even be at the church on a weekly basis. Mm -hmm. You know, they might just be there on Sunday. And so right. if that's the case, the next best thing is to actually spend some time and EQ your video channel yes. for your videos. Now, you may have two or three videos. A great thing to do is actually set scenes that have those different video EQs in there and compression. Mm -hmm. A lot of times, you know, it's easy to go a little crazy with this, you know, <laughs> you don't need to go crazy, don't but go crazy. to get a nice bit of compression, maybe, you know, three to four to five dB of gain reduction and uh, make sure you take that harsh stuff out, you know, cause like nobody yeah. likes to be listening to a video with like all this 1K in your face and all that kind of upper mid range, 3K sometimes can get a little crazy, yeah. you know, or maybe it gets a little boomy you know yeah. that's that's a big one we get people that are like you know just have those bass drones in video and i've had a few people come up to the booth and actually say hey like that is hurting my head and we don't want to do that we <laughs> no. don't want to distract people away from the video yeah. so really you're you're talking about like make sure the volume level on the video yes. that is not like completely out of line with if it's coming in a message yeah it, it's like the same level as your speaker. That's or so if good. it's coming in a worship set, it's like the same yep. level. So it, I'm it doesn't, so glad you said that. It doesn't like like all of a sudden take you out of a moment, but Absolutely. also the, the way it sounds. Yeah, too. you don't want, when you're going from the, from worship mm -hmm. to a bumper video, you don't want it to be jarring. And right. So one of the things that I'll actually do is I'll go on our PCO or in, in this case on our rundown in our console on our different scenes mm -hmm. and I'll actually mark on there where the volume is on each video. Now I don't set volume on a scene to scene basis. I only record EQ and compression into the scene. So I wanna make sure that I know where that fader needs to be for each video because I don't want it to just come in and just startle everybody, you know? Right. Even for our bumper today, we realized it was a very intimate worship moment and mm -hmm. there was a prayer, but our bumper was a lot bigger. And so we were very strategic, even on having one of our other worship leaders step in and kind of ramp things up and our yeah. band swelling to kind of bring the energy of the moment up so we could bridge the gap between that worship moment and that big video. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Church, come on, let's celebrate Lord, the Lord for his faithfulness. We honor you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Amen. And we're excited that y'all are worshiping with us here at New Hope Church. You all can take your seats. Let's check out the screens. I started that video about 6 to 10 dB lower than it eventually got to and yeah. just kind of faded it in so it really smoothed that transition out. Jody, I, I courtesy flush so many times. <laughs> Let me tell you. I'm looking out for you. Uh, thank you. That's Fuller's bathroom, by the way. So at the end of Benji's message, he basically asked people to take the shoes off of their feet and put them in these big buckets that we have out in the lobby. I had a crazy idea. I sat in my study at home and I started imagining, what would it be like if thousands of new hopers took their shoes off and we collected those shoes as a church and we gave them to people who can't afford shoes? What if the people who came to church on July 14th, 2019, were willing to do something crazy? and leave church barefoot. During the last song, people just started walking up to the, to the front here to the, to the stage or to the altar where you would, might call it that at your church. And they just took their shoes off 
And like, look, there's like a mountain of shoes over here. All these people are just leaving without any shoes on and just giving people the shoes off of their feet. Check this out. That was, that was one of the so... top ministry moments I've ever been a part Man, of. Man, like, I'm just, I was over there just hey. playing guitar. What? And just, just just people just walking up starts coming their shoes from everywhere off, yeah walking, just, a, walking away in socks it just goes to show you like we can plan moments all day long like right. that was we plan for people to be dropping it off at the door on their way out yeah but like God <laughs> can take those planned moments and totally obliterate them and yeah. make something way better and so and to be started, ready for that man it's it amazing. started with one person one person being yeah. brave and just like I'm gonna make a statement open the floodgates. <laughs>